We're going to start off looking back at the game last night. Now, in in a bit, right? In a bit, we'll talk about Liverpool. All right. So we're going to split the first out up into Liverpool a bit later on, but first Manchester United. Right. Look at your face. <laughs> Just to confirm, you're an Arsenal fan, yeah? Oh, yeah. you beat Chelsea. <laughs> God. Okay. Where should we begin with? Firstly, we no, you know what? You tell me. Okay, what, did, what I, did you I, think? I, I listen, the season is not going to be defined for Manchester United by that game last night or the one against Leicester. Right? Manchester United season is all about silverware. Now, at this at this moment in time, you'd be only saying that because you're in a final. Yeah, I know. But you've got to understand that that that's one of the reasons why we fielded an incredibly weak side against Leicester. But I think the more worrying thing is that you wasn't. You was obviously at full strength against Liverpool. Uh, yeah, there were thereabouts. Uh, only one. Listen, Maguire's a big miss for you. Yeah, I understand yeah, that because yeah. as you can see, when he's not there, the organisation of the back line is all over the place. Yeah, but it's, from Liverpool, they absolutely just tore you to pieces. Okay, all right. One, one. You can tell you they won. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they did. But you know, it was, yes, it was it was horrible. To, stop smiling. You're horrible. <laughs> you're horrible. You look so Do you know what? I'm doing the show with you, Darren. <laughs> Darren Lewis has texted me. I'm not even going to look at that. Um, yeah, listen, I, I just put it down to one of those games. Is it, if, if it would have been like that every week for United, then yeah, I'd, I'd have a problem with it. But, you know, United's still second in the Premier League. They're, that team that United have got are still not good enough to challenge for the Premier League, right? They're still missing, I think, three players, three key areas. So I, I think you're looking at a Jaden Sancho. I'm going to name top players that come at a, a price, but I'm just talking about where I think United are at. I think they need a Jaden Sancho, a Declan Weiss, and I think they've been linked to Varane this morning. You know, top class centre half. I think if you put that, if you say that United are three really, really top players away from challenging or even, dare I say it, winning the Premier League. That's not all bad, is it? Yeah, I mean, but for one, I don't think you'll get all them players in one window. But right. let me okay. ask you again, being a United fan, yeah. out of them three, which one would you take? That, if you're going to sign one of them in the window... Oh, Declan Rice. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Because, listen, I, I've never been a massive fan of Fred and the money we paid for him I thought was crazy. I think it was a Jose sign. It was crazy money. He had a period, though, where he was kind of playing no, really he, well, wasn't he? He had a period where he was playing okay. But that was on the back of a period where he was playing really badly, and then people were going, "Okay, he's okay now." Yeah, but he's not. He's not. I mean, Roy Keane was was quite critical last <laughs> night about Scott McTominay and Fred mm. saying United aren't going to win any trophies with those two, and then he sort of went apart from the Europa League, which you're going to do the final. But you know, when you look at the players in front of those two, Pogba on his day, world class. Bruno Fernandez goes without saying. You've got maybe Rashford's on that side, or even Greenwood. I'll put into that Rashford's game. not been good. I know he's got a good. Oh like, mate, so, listen, I, has, listen, I know you. Been, I know you've been. An, he's ball for Cavani's header at the weekend against. Yeah, but it's, it's moments. He's had unbelievable moments, but you look at consistently Rashford for a little while now. Now listen, we understand he has oh. been Superman. Like we, you know what I mean, what he's done off the pitch. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. It's extraordinary. Knows that, yeah, but. He's had unbelievable good moments, but he talked about consistency for a while. I won't say he's, he's been. I've, I've seen him play a lot better in periods at Manchester United. Okay, but last point, season he was but, brilliant. But my point being that when you look at those three players that are in the category of, I'm not going to say world class, but fantastic, right? Mm. Very, Pog, good. Pog, Pog, very good. Very good. Okay, very good. Yeah. The Fred and McTominay aren't in that category, and that's where I think no. United have got to improve. Well, uh, with De- if you was to get someone like a Declan Rice, Calvin Phillips would be another one. Would we take him as well? You yeah, take I him? think so. But I think the thing. I mean, I like Calvin Phillips as well. But with Declan Rice, you'd have to say. If you can get him, at least just in case you're having a bit of a, a meltdown at the back, he can slot into that centre back yeah, role, which right. is, I think, brilliant. So I still think United are. I said I said to you in the meeting that there's a chance next season. Say Man United don't get any of them players, they could finish fourth easily next season, even fifth. I think it's impossible to say that because we don't know what's well, going to happen in the close season. Well, you know, because well, we don't you know, know what's going to happen. You in know, full well, Manchester City are going to strength, strengthen, right? And they'll throw money at it. Yeah? Right. Chelsea, Abramovich has done that since he's got there. Whenever they need money, bang. So right. they're strong. Okay. Yeah. Under Thomas Tuchel, they look good. Liverpool are going to get Van Dyke back, Gomez back. Are they going to uh, strengthen? Because Liverpool. Oh yeah, they will strengthen. But still, the, them players coming back are fresh. Do you, okay. mean, Van, do you know what I mean? Gomez, Van Dyke, right. Henderson. Do, do you? Do you? We'll talk about Liverpool a bit later on. But do you put Liverpool as in the top two sides in the Premier League? Top three. Yeah. Top three with Chelsea. Yeah. I'm guessing you're going to say the other one. Yeah. Okay. And so Manchester United could eat for me okay. could easily let, finish fourth. Let me ask you then, because I want to take calls on this, right? Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four. We do Liverpool a bit later on, about half past, but we're going to start with Manchester United. Lots to talk about. If I'm not getting to the point you want to make, then pick up the phone and dial in. But what, what do you think United need to bring in to strengthen to challenge next season? Would you agree with me? Just those three. You positions? need three players, yeah. And one won't be enough. Okay, but three, three players come in. United of, can challenge. of that level, yeah, that yeah. Because yeah. you look at Manchester City, for instance, they've got two players for every position that are. If, if Sterling doesn't play, yeah. Mars will play. If he doesn't play, Bernardo Silva yeah, plays. Look how long he's been there, Pep. Look how much money he's spent. Yeah. You know, you can't compare Oli and United to Man City and Pep at the moment because he's had so much time of course, to build that but side. If, they've, if they want to kind of challenge Manchester City in terms of winning trophies, they're going to have to put a lot of money in. 
to mm. get these players because Sancho's been outstanding this year so he's gonna obviously going to cost a lot but Varane's one of the do you know what I mean he's unbelievable and Declan Rice has been fantastic just quickly as well then expectations for United next season again I know the window's not open and United haven't bought players but what on the back of this season let's just say that United do finish second and win the Europa League what will United fans expect next season from that club some form of trophy silverware I, th- I think I think they'd like to get closer to Manchester City but that's going to be difficult when, when you say some kind of trophy because United should and would be in the Champions League yeah. so you're they're saying they're not going to win that no, but are you saying Premier League and or Champions League they need League? to be challenging for the Premier League Yeah, maybe pick up an FA Cup or a Carling League Cup I don't want to win the Champions League I don't think they'll win that but they need to somehow close that gap bridge the gap because this this was an off year for Chelsea and Liverpool in terms of Liv- Chelsea had the wrong man in charge up front in Lampard all the players stopped responding that's probably more fair and Liverpool have been decimated by injuries. So you don't have kind of capitalised on that misfortune. But listen, when them guys have got all their players back, okay. and Chelsea invest in it. We are talking Liverpool a bit later on. We're going to kick things off today with Manchester United. Chat. You can talk about the game from last night. You can answer the question about expectations. How many players short are United to challenge? Even, dare I say, go all the way. Lots to talk about. As always, one number to dial. Pick up the phone and get involved. 087172334. It's me, Andy Goldstein. Him over there in the expensive socks. It's Darren Ben on drive. <laughs> on, on talk sport. <laughs> 